I'm Amber Volok. I'm the simulation lab coordinator here that I work with the nursing students, the CNA students, the medical assisting students, and the EMT students. I have had 15 years of registered nurse experience that I get to put to use with all four of our simulation labs that we'll go through here in a minute and use each one of my experiences to put into those experiences for the students. So let's take a walk. This first mannequin is Victoria. Um, she is one of three rooms of all the mannequins that can be a live shock. So if a patient went into cardiac arrest, we can actually use an AED like I would on a real person. Um, she also has the capacity to have an IV that actually runs. You can see her eyes open and close. Her chest rises and falls, just like all of our mannequins here today do. On her right arm, she has medication recognition. So there's pre-programmed syringes that I can get close to her and it will automatically, on the screen behind me that you can see, it will automatically change her vital signs to do what that medication would do to a normal patient. On her, we can also put monitor leads on her for a baby so they can hear the heartbeat through it and they can also see the contractions on the monitor. Students can take a real blood pressure, they can take a real pulse ox on her index finger on her left hand, they can listen to heartbeat, they can listen to lung sounds, um, abdominal sounds, they could actually do a Doppler heart rate on this baby. I can make her seize. She has different abdomens that I can put on her. She has currently the one that actually births a baby. There's another abdomen that I can put on her that the students can actually feel the baby in there to see what position she's in. There's also another belly that we can do a C-section if we had a medical program. This is our pediatric room. This baby that I'm currently holding um, can be pushed out of our mom next door. Um, she can come out head first or she can come out bottom first. She is good for the first five minutes of baby's life. She can cry, she can turn cyanotic, so blue if she's lost oxygen during delivery. After we're done with her, they can transition to my Super Tori here. And Super Tori is up, good up to the uh, year one. You can see she's opening and closing her eyes. Just I can make her cry, let's start there. And she's crying because she's not able to breathe very well. We can see her little chest is having retractions here. So her little fontanelle on her head is normal now. And I can make it sink or I can make it bulge. Has bulged out there. So I can make her turn cyanotic. So she should look blue around her mouth and around her feet and her hands. We can do an IO, which is a different kind of IV, but it's through the bone on her in her either of her legs. Pediatric Hal is our five-year-old. Um, here at his knee, I can do capillary refill, and it'll tell me how well he's doing. Um, pediatric Hal, you can do a blood pressure on either arm, and in his middle finger on his left hand, they can do a blood glucose. All of the mannequins that I've showed so far, as, as well as our last one, can all be put on a mechanical ventilator. They do have the lung compliance. Hal is our adult male, can be turned into a female as well. Currently I have him seizing. His left arm and his lower left leg can be disconnected and an attachment put on and create a trauma patient and it can actually spurt out blood. He can be put on a ventilator. He can have a needle decompression if he had a collapsed lung. The students would be able to actually hear that he has a collapsed lung as well. Um, they can put in a chest tube on him on either side they can listen to abdominal sounds. They can put in a catheter on him. If he were having an anaphylactic reaction, they can see his tongue swell as well as his throat swell. After he has pre-programmed phrases as well as I can speak to the students through the mannequin from the control room. Alex is a completely different company of mannequins. Alex is a little bit more basic and we start out with our foundations nursing students with him. You can see on his t-shirt that all the circles are where the students would place their own stethoscope with an adapter piece. All of the squares are where they would put that same adapter piece over to listen to the lung sounds. They can listen on the front and the back and his t-shirt has the same thing on both sides. We can start a catheter on him. We can feel all of his pulses up to his waist. Alex is portable so I can take him on road trips with me. Alex is really cool in that he is cloud-based. So, good afternoon, Alex. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm doing okay, thank you. He also is really cool in the fact that he has a camera in his right eye and the students can go back and watch that then so they can debrief and see what the patient is seeing from their perspective. 